Good evening, church family. Um, I want to be the first to say Happy New Year um, as we come together this evening to close out the year of 2020. Um, it has been a unique year to say the least, um, but nonetheless, it has been a year full of um, God's plan for us. Um, so this evening, we're going to kind of have a time like we usually do um, with some testimonies and some different people sharing and some songs. Feel free to sing along at home. Um, if you didn't get a chance to submit your testimony, go ahead and feel free to share with um, those around you at home. If nobody's around your home at the moment, feel free to call a friend maybe, um, share some, some times with them. Um, but just real quick to get us started here, I'm going to read a little, uh, few verses um, from First Chronicles 16, um, verses 8 to 12. It says, Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. Happy New Year.
The song that I chose um, is Beautiful Things by Gunger, um, and it's a song that has meant so much to me uh, throughout my walk as a Christian, as a teenager, when I was experiencing a lot of doubt as to whether or not I was worthy of God's love and whether or not I had anything to offer the kingdom. Um, this song offered many moments of peace and clarity and understanding that I am made in the image of God and that I do have something to offer. Um, and I think that this song can mean so much to us um, as we go in from tw as we go from 2020 to 2021, um, the first line of the song is all this pain, and unfortunately, um, I th I think that that w pretty what pretty much wraps up what 2020 has been um, for all of us. Some of us have experienced far more pain than others, um, but all of us have experienced all of us across the world have experienced a shared pain um, in 2020, and I'm not sure. Um, how often that has happened within uh, throughout the course of history, um, where a whole world is hurting together. And um, <laughs> there's some level of beauty in that, um, that shared experience, but um, a lot of despair um, and uh, so much to wonder about, so, much, so many why questions. And so this song, what I hope that it can do for you tonight, what I hope that it can do for you as we go into 2021 is just offer a small glimmer of hope um, that God makes beautiful things. He makes beautiful things out of nothing. He makes beautiful things out of dust. He makes beautiful things out of pain, as much as that doesn't seem possible a lot of the time. Um, I ask that you um, pray, um, pray these words into your heart, pray these words into your 2021, um, that they be a constant reminder to you um, that the Lord um, will make all things beautiful in his time. In giving my testimony tonight, I'm reaching back to a dark time in my youth. Yes, all the way back to 1949. I was 10 years old, working every day at the Ramona Amusement Park in Grand Rapids, Michigan, taking care of the ponies by day and leading them around the corral until closing time at 11 p.m. It surely, surely was the darkest time of my life. Oh, it was fun, so I thought. But it was a very dark and dangerous kind of fun. I learned, I learned how to rifle every coin machine. And sadly, I acquired a vocabulary that would make a sailor blush. I was a 10-year-old filthy mouth thief. And then the Salvation Army came to our neighborhood, <laughs> and it came with donuts. And my life began on a new path. I, I dearly loved the Salvation Army and the officers who nurtured me with special recognition to Lieutenant Wally Winters, who was my corps officer for five years, during which time he mentored me and the other boys of Burton Heights he was such a powerful influence on my life that at the age of 12, I knew I wanted to be a Salvation Army officer. Yep, that was my calling. And it still is. All glory to God. Hallelujah.
Good evening, church family. Happy New Year. Um, I chose the song, I'm in His Hands, um, because this song has kind of taken on a new meaning for me in this last year. Um, you know, singing the lyrics, the days I cannot see have all been planned for me, God's way being better than yours. Those words were always easy to sing for me um, because it felt like God's plan and my plan were the same thing for a long time. Every time I wanted something, I would either get it or a reasonable facsimile of it, um, and nothing really ever felt like it didn't go my way. Um, but this year, um, the year that I have been engaged, um, there's been a lot of planning um, of my own doing, and none of those plans have really gone the way that I had anticipated um, or the way that I thought would be right. Um, and so I really have had to trust and really have had to lean on the fact that God's way really is better than mine, no matter what today or tomorrow or yesterday has looked like. Um, so that's why I picked this song for this year. Hey, our OBT family, Sarah McCoola reporting live <laughs> from the College Foster Training. And uh, the song that I selected is May the Peace. And I remember the first time I sang this song, it was at OBT, and Eric Himes was leading it and introducing the song for the very first time, kind of piloting it with us OBT folk. And it was not long after, I can't remember when, but it was certainly in the time after my dad had passed away. And it the song really caught me off guard because it really spoke to the tenderness of our soul and the the heartache we can encounter and um but the great peace and healing that Jesus brings and just thinking of that moment and thinking of a lot of the different moments throughout the years where uh I've faced certain moments of uncertainty or disappointment or heartache and um but almost being really on the other side of that as I sit here almost nine months pregnant after a long time of waiting, which you all know. And that just gives me such great peace knowing um, that God is good either way. Either way, he is good and his peace is sufficient and it is healing and it can bring us the hope. I know so many of us are longing for after such a long year of 2020 and as we look forward to what is to come in 2021 i have a great deal of hope and i praise god for songs like made a peace and so many others that speak to my soul that are just a sweet healing balm um, that brings healing so may you have a wonderful new year we love you so much Hi, OBT family. Happy New Year. Um, I just want to share with you a little bit of what um, God has been teaching me recently. Um, we watched the movie Soul as a family, and I don't agree theologically with a lot of it, but it is a really great movie, and there are some really poignant truths um, that God used uh, to speak to my heart. And one of the themes in that movie is this idea of becoming so consumed and so obsessed with our own plans and this, and our own thoughts that we miss the beauty um, that's around us. And I feel we do that with God. Um, we want what we want when we want it. And we get so consumed of this is how it should be that um, we lose sight of the beautiful creation, the beautiful relationships the beautiful path that God has put in place for us. And we miss out on that um, because we are so hyper-focused on our plans and our wants. And so um, <clears throat> it just really um, made me think of uh, the passage from Matthew 6, which is very beautiful verses that we know well. Um, that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. 
They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them, and aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat or what will we drink? The, or what will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Happy New Year, OBT family.
Hello there, my OBT family. This is Simon. Man, I really miss you guys, and I love you so much. First, I want to say thank you for all your prayers, and thank you for the beautiful cards and all the support. The song I chose for tonight is the Storm Song. My life was always filled with different types of storms. But every time, no matter what I went through, the Lord's hand was always there, full of grace and mercy and love. He reached deep and helped me up so many times. He's given me peace and joy that I've never had before. And even a time like this in the pandemic in 2020, Man, I've seen his hands in so many different ways. Small and big. Hard and easy. I just want to testify that our God is great. And no matter what you're going to, whatever storm, he has your back and he loves you tremendously. So don't push your faith aside, but keep growing in him. Because he loves you and he cherishes every one of us. I love you guys and God bless you. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Bye. There is a rock. And in this storm. And in this storm, I will not fear. Not counting waves, but drawing near. God in his power rebukes the tide. Says, peace, be still to all my life. Says, peace, be still. Raging storm. Went through deep waters. Went through deep waters, called to go. Rivers of grief will not overflow. For he is here, our child to bless, to sanctify our deep distress, to sanctify. Raging storm. A raging storm, a mighty war. I got a refuge from all harm. Oh, let your truth. 
Good evening. I am Cecilia Falconi from the Salvation Army, Oak Brook Terrace Corp. The Lord Jesus Christ is my Savior. I met him at a very young age. My life has been filled with unending blessings that have impacted me. God has allowed victory as well as losses in my life. Victory has prevailed. He has brought forth my family and I in our service to Him. My ministry is dedicated to saving the lost spiritually and serving the most needed by bringing them hope, the Word of God, faith, and His love. May the Lord bless you immensely. Buenas noches, soy Cecilia Falconi del Cuerpo de Oak Brook del Ejército de Salvación. El Señor Jesús es mi Salvador. Yo lo conocí a Él de niña como mi Salvador personal. Mi vida ha estado llena de muchas bendiciones que han impactado cada aspecto de ella. Dios ha permitido la victoria y también pérdidas en mi vida. La victoria ha prevalecido. Él ha traído a mi familia y a mi persona a oportunidades de servicio en el ministerio. Mi ministerio está dedicado a salvar a los perdidos espiritualmente y a servir a los más necesitados, trayéndoles a ellos esperanza, la palabra de Dios, fe y amor. Que Dios los bendiga inmensamente.
Greetings, OBT family. My first pass at this was well beyond the two-minute uh, recommendation, so you're going to get the abbreviated version, which is uh, in all of these nine months of working from home, which has been a privilege to be able to do that, um, I find myself getting caught up in this attitude of good enough. Uh, it's good enough to have on a nice shirt and my uh, um, pajama pants or sweatpants or the same jeans that I've worn for who knows how many days in a row. Um, call that a life hack. Call it whatever you will. Um, but it's it's, a, it's good enough. Um, it's good enough. And that kind of attitude is we've been forced to be separate from each other, I think can creep into how we see our community, how we see our own spiritual lives. It's good enough. Um, and uh, that's not enough. It shouldn't be enough for me, but uh, if you're in my small group, you know that I frequently talk about this idea of being challenged and pushing ahead and and um, often don't put anything behind that other than I know that it needs to happen. Well, the other day, um, my daughters invited a few friends over and they all sat together in the living room on the floor with uh, art supplies and magazines and whatnot in their masks uh, to create vision boards. Um, something I was not familiar with, but they found it important enough and their friendship and their relationships with each other important enough to put in the work, to be together, to laugh and to share their ideas of what they want to see happen, what they want to work towards making happen. And I was challenged to look at Joel 2, 28, um, where it talks about the old men dreaming dreams and the young men and women having their visions uh, it, when the spirit of the Lord is there. And so I've been challenged again to think about what does that vision board look like for me uh, in my spiritual walk. Uh, I have to want to see it in order to, for it to become real. If I sit back and expect it to just happen, I'm going to be waiting a long time and uh, not growing and not experiencing all that the Lord has for me. So um, anyhow, that's my, that's my challenge to me this year um, as I think about the many blessings that I did have this past year and where the Lord can take us in 2021. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. This song has been a precious song to me during this year. Um, for a lot of reasons, it's been part of my um, personal time of worship, and I think the most comforting and wonderful part of it has been just recognizing that God is with me and that um, He is the one who's going to provide the next um, thing that I need. He's the one who's going to provide um, the peace and the calm and the joy um, and all of the things that um, that are required during this difficult time. And so I've been so grateful for um, the reminders um, that this song brings to me. Um, and then in First Thessalonians it says, May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who called you is faithful, and he will do it. I'm so grateful that he has called me by my name. He knows me and he's the one that's going to do it. It doesn't have anything to do with me, but it's all about who he is in my life. And I love him and I praise him today. Your labor is not in vain. Though the ground underneath you is cursed and stained. You're planting and reaping are never the same, but your labor is not in vain. Your labor is not unknown, though the rocks they cry out and the sea it may grow, the place of your toil may not seem like a home, but your labor is not unknown. For I am with you, I am with you, I am with you, I am with you, for I have called you, called you by name. Your labor is not in Yeah.
vineyards you plant with their fruit. The fields will sing out and rejoice with the truth. For all that is old will at last be made new. The vineyards you plant will bear fruit. I am with to build will finally with laughter and joy be filled the serpent that hurts and destroys will be killed and all that is broken be Romans 15, 4 through 6, and verse 13. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus, so that with one heart and mouth you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.